Jason Crocker asks, Dude dropped 40 points on me in high school. How early did you decide to go all in on basketball and commit your life to that pursuit? Well, now I have a new career high in high school. So I don't know what I have for you. Um, do no. you know what your career high in high school is? Of course you do. I really, honestly, I really don't. You were that good? I, I was, Fuck. No, it wasn't that good. <laughs> if, I, it wasn't if my that career high was like 17, I'd be like seven. I, I would know everything. I'd be like, yeah, this kid, I crossed him over. No lie, I have to give a shout out to Christ School. I love my high school. It was an all boys boarding school in North Carolina. But we had such a good group of guys. Like our whole, our first five all went and played in college. So it was such a fun team to be on that our whole, our, our goal every year is like, can we go undefeated? We really, fit. we never got to it, but we- You weren't one of those guys that came up in high school where you were the guy dropping 64, team, right? Yeah. So I don't, you know, that's, that's funny you asked that, but I didn't have 40 in a game. But anyway, <laughs> uh, my, my, you know, for me it was a passion early on. In Indiana, it's the game, everybody plays basketball and- Sure, it's uh, religion. Yeah, it is. It really is like Texas. Are you a Colts fan? I am, yeah, Colts. Not, not a Pacers fan, but Colts fan. Um, but growing up, like, oh, why not a Pacers fan? You know what? When I was when That's I first started watching the NBA, yeah. like, it was always Utah and Chicago in the finals. So I, I love Chicago. I watch Jordan all the time. So you're a bandwagon Bulls fan? Yeah. I was Northwest Indiana though, so I was close to Chicago. That's how you decided to justify that? And they were winning. I know what they were doing. <laughs> all right. So what did you? Just, so was it from birth you were all in? No, I mean when I was young and, and just playing at recess on the playground with my brothers. Um, were you always ridiculously tall? No, I wasn't always tall. And I think that's the you know in the NBA, not the NBA, but in basketball, like you get the guys who are tall, so they're like, well, I'll play basketball. I'll put this to use. But it was always a passion of mine um, from when I was little, and it's not something that I decided to do because of I, I ended up being tall. So. So when did you go all in? Um, all in. Honestly, to me, the first, the first, I would say, business move concerning basketball was when I decided to leave my home and go to boarding school. Because up until then, sure. you know, I, I loved it. I, I would just go and play for the fun of it. But and when was like, that? Um, I, I did that in my sophomore year of high school. But then you I have a like, big freshman year. Uh, I, I didn't have a big freshman year. I, I played uh, varsity and JV at my hometown high school. Did you and, grow in that summer like a machine? I, no, I was like six, seven, six, eight my freshman year. So. It was, I was <laughs> It just, to me, that was. I like, love the. He's like, no, you know, it's your own reality, right? He just hangs out with seven footers all day. I get it. Yeah. But to me, that was going all in because I didn't. It was. Basketball was for fun, and that was the first sacrifice made toward the career, so.